Hi children, this is KTK. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to practice 10 creative questions on class 7 integers. If you are thorough with basic concepts of integers, then definitely you will enjoy this video. Before getting into class, if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever I am coming with new videos, you can watch with the notifications. Let's start the class now. product of two integers is 4 less than 49. If one of the integers is minus 9, then other integer is. The options are given like 43, 40, minus 44, minus 5. So what they give, the product of two integer is 4 less than 49. 4 less than 49 means what? 45. Okay. So two integers product is 45. One integer is minus 9. So minus 9 multiply with what number will give you 45? minus 9 into minus 5 only will give you 45 because we know that 9 5s are 45 and minus into minus becomes plus therefore the answer for the first question is minus 5 the integer that must be subtracted from minus 5 to obtain minus 12 is so try to understand the question properly the integer that must be subtracted from minus 5 so from minus 5 i am subtracting some integer okay the answer is minus 12. So what number we need to write here to get minus 12? Can you understand the question? Minus 5 minus some number gives you minus 12. If you want you can solve directly or otherwise you can substitute the options one by one. Suppose if I am writing 7 in this place. So what will happen? Minus 5 minus 7 gives you minus 12. So option A itself we got the correct answer. So no need to check with B, C and D. Okay. In case if you are writing this minus 7 here, what will happen? Minus of minus becomes plus. So minus 5 plus 7 will give you only 2. Okay. So that the other options also will not give you the solution minus 12. Therefore, we will conclude that option A 7 is your answer for question number 2. Okay. So these kind of questions, it is up to you that how you are understanding the question suppose in this case if you are writing like this that is some number minus minus 5 gives you minus 12 that is if you are misunderstanding the question into like this means you are not going to get the correct answer okay so read the question once and twice then you can frame this equation to find your correct answer clear shall we go to the next question question number 3 minus 25 product of 6 plus 4 is not the same as dash so first we need to find the solution of this. So what is minus 25 multiply with 6 plus 4 is 10. So this will give you the answer minus 250. Now we will check your options. So minus 250 only you are getting. Here also you are getting minus 25 into 10 minus 250. Here you are getting minus 25 into 6, 150 and so on. So this is not going to be minus 250 and this one is representing the distributive property of your question term okay therefore your option c is correct answer okay check the question they are asking this term is not the same okay so whatever is not getting the answer that would be your answer for your question number three we will go to fourth question now if a and b are two integers then which of the following may not be an integer so we need to check the options now a plus b a minus b a multiply with b a divided by b so try to understand the question if a and b are two integers so when we are adding two integer the answer is also an integer when we are subtracting two integer again the solution also will be an integer for example you can check that is minus 5 plus minus 7 if you are taking this will give you minus 12 which is an integer or if I am going to subtract two integers that is 7 minus of minus 3 randomly you can check with any number you will get again an integer in the same way you can check multiplication also 3 into minus 5 if I am writing your answer is minus 15 again an integer but in this case you just check when you are dividing two integer okay for example if I am dividing minus 5 divided by minus 3 so this will give you the answer 5 by 3 only which is not an integer it's a fraction okay so when you are dividing two integer it's not necessary to get always an integer sometimes you may get but most of the time you are not going to get an integer as an answer when you are dividing two integer so 
the answer for the question number 4 is option D A divided by B now question number 5 add the product of minus 16 and minus 9 to the quotient of minus 132 by 6 so here the question involves two operations one is product of these two and another one is quotient of these two okay first we will solve this one minus 16 into minus 9 that is we are multiplying two negative numbers so we know that minus into minus is plus and 16 9s are what you are going to have 144 so first part over you are getting the answer 144 now coming to the second part you need to divide this that is 132 divided by 6 so you can do the order division here 2 6 are 12 remaining 1 bring down this 2 it's 12 again 2 6 are 12 okay so the answer is minus 22 why i am writing minus here because we are dividing different symbols one is negative and another one is positive hence your answer is minus 22 now add the product it means what adding these two terms add the product of this one to this one so what i am going to do the solution of 144 adding with the solution of second part second part is minus 22 so when you are subtracting 144 minus 22 what you are going to get you are going to get 122 clear different symbols are there therefore i am subtracting here you will get 122 greater number symbol is positive so answer for this fifth question is option d 122 so questions may involve more than two operations also these kind of questions you can expect in your olympiad competitive exams now question number six what is the value of expression minus 10 divided by 2 and multiply with minus 4 okay here the brackets are given very clearly so which one you need to solve first i need to solve minus 10 divided by 2 first so minus 10 divided by 2 will give you minus 5 and then this answer should be multiply with minus 4 so minus 5 into minus 4 is 20 it's a very simplest question only sometimes the question may look hard when you are looking at but when you start solving one by one the answer you will get very easily question number seven it's a lengthy one involving a lot of numbers with different symbols okay here they have mentioned some bar here what is mean by this this means you need to solve this one first so when you are solving this one before moving on to this we'll check the options three two one zero so anyhow we are going to get only the positive numbers so we'll start step by step six plus three nine nine minus twelve is minus three okay now eight minus of minus three will give you what 11 plus 11 that is minus of minus we know it is plus so 11 now you can substitute in this place you can substitute 6 so what you get 6 minus 11 6 minus 11 is minus 5 can you understand now this term up to this term we are getting minus 5 before this what is given 7 minus of so we know that 7 minus of minus 5 is 7 plus 5 which is nothing but what 12 hence up to this one we are getting 12 so 12 minus 12 is 0 is your answer so check out this it's a very interesting question we are solving the process from right to left okay from right to left we are start solving one by one at the end we arrived at answer 0 question number 8 predecessor of successor of minus 21 i hope you are laughing at this question because we know that predecessor of successor of any number is the same number okay what is successor of minus 21 successor of minus 21 is minus 20 and predecessor of minus 20 is again minus 21 so the same answer itself is your solution for question number 8 question number 9 a man walked 3 km towards north then 8 km towards south what is his final position with respect to his initial position so here they give few options this question is based upon the distance and direction okay example just i am mentioning the person is standing here okay on first step he moves three kilometers towards north suppose if i am mentioning the direction like this this is your north and this is your south then in this case 
he moves towards north how many kilometer 3 kilometer how many kilometer 3 kilometer now he is standing at this position and then 8 kilometer towards south 8 kilometer towards south it means what again from there he is turning back and then comes 8 kilometer towards south that is in the opposite direction okay towards south now what is his final position with respect to his initial position so it means what from here to here what will be the distance first he started 3 km towards north and then turning back in the exact opposite direction with 8 km distance so the difference from his initial position to the ending position is how much kilometer 8 minus 3 5 km towards which direction south direction therefore your answer is 5 km towards south is it there in your options yes option d is your correct answer for question number 9 now last question of this video water level in a well was 20 meter below ground level during rainy season rain water collected in different water tanks was drained into the well and the water level rises 5 meter above the previous level the wall of the well is 1 meter 20 centimeter high and the pulley is fixed at the height of 80 centimeter Raghu wants to draw water from the well the minimum length of the rope that he can use is so I hope you are getting into the solution you can understand easily when you are checking this diagram okay you can check this diagram so try to understand we need to find the minimum length of the rope that can be used minimum length of the rope that can be used okay now initially the distance that is the ground level is 20 meter below 20 meter below therefore from here for example if this is your ground level means from here it is 20 kilometer okay so before moving into the sum we'll check the options also they gave 17 18 96 and 97 so we need to check out this one first so here they gave 20 meter during rainy season rain water collected in different water was drained into the well and water level raises 5 meter above the previous level so from here it raises above 5 meter it raises above 5 meter now the water level is at 15 right now the water level is at 15 so try to get me clearly and then so this water level 15 is from the ground level from the ground level now you need to calculate further that is from here to the wall of the well is 1 meter 20 centimeter and then from there you are getting 80 centimeter try to understand here i'll give you with the different color inside the diagram i'll mention with the red color here that is from here that is below water level it is 15 okay below water level for example here you have water so it will be 15 so 15 added with the wall of well and then it's further added with the length of the pulley okay so 1 meter 20 centimeter added with 80 centimeter will give you 2 meter can you understand i hope you know how to add 1 meter 20 centimeter can be added with 80 centimeter will give you 80 plus 20 is 100 so 100 plus 100 you will get 200 centimeter which is nothing but what 2 meter so already your water level is 15 plus you need to get 2 meter extra therefore 15 plus 2 18 is your answer for 10th question i hope you understand this question very clearly because it's very basic question only these kind of questions will be asked in your olympiad exams clear so think carefully when they are giving these kind of web problems try to read the question twice and thrice understand it very well because sometimes they may give with some little tricky numbers but you must be very careful clear i hope you enjoyed this video children all these questions are completely new to you thank you so much for watching if you like this video please share it with your friends thanks for watching bye bye take care